we speak about the eclipse that take place with the moon and the sun. For an eclipse to take place, there must be three factors. There must be the object, maybe you say the sun, there must be the moon, and there must be the one looking, who then feels, aha, I can't, now I cannot see the sun. You see? So is the self like this? Is there something we say, oh, the mind is blocking me from seeing the self? Is it true? Does the, does the sun, what's the sun's perspective? Does it know of eclipse? So if you identify as one who is looking towards the self, then you phenomenalize the self, which is not a phenomenon. Phenomenons appear in the self. The self is not a phenomenon. So are you that which is had a taste of this self, of this purity? It's meaning that I am different from the purity. I had a taste, I had experience of this. Because I say this because many people like this. They say, you know, in uh, six months ago I had a, an experience of the self. Meaning what? It went. Where can the self go? <laughs> so what is the correct position? Is it that that infinite just escaped me? I had it, I had it. For three weeks I had it. And then it went. So who am I? And what is that? Is it different, you see? Or are we just misunderstanding something? It cannot go anywhere. It cannot come. It cannot be received and lost. These are all ideas in our mind. You are that. It's not enough to believe it. Therefore, I ask you, like this we look, and with a little assistance you are learning to leave some things, some habits aside, that would have given you the sense that you are all, you've lost something. To see that even if you have the sensation of losing something in your introspection, immediately recognize, but that's just an idea, it's just a feeling that I'm interpreting as being more significant than what it really is. In terms of significance, it's nothing at all. It's just a little pool and a oh, big monster. It's nothing at all. I'm still here.